Welcome to the channel, I'm Dave, and uh, if you clicked on this video, you already know why you're here. Our good friends at Performance Triggers sent us the G-Flex trigger for Glock. They make different triggers depending on the generation that you have. I just happen to have a Glock 17 laying around, and that's what we're going to put it in. These uh, reflex triggers are super reasonable compared to some of the other like binary system tr type triggers that are out there some of them go as high as like 900 dollars. this is going to come in at 230 bucks if you stick around to the end of the video we're going to give you a discount code our, our real good friends over there at performance triggers are going to give you free shipping and they're going to give you 10 percent off but you got to use our code so make sure you stick around to the end of the video now i'm going to pass it over to dustin he's going to show you how to install this thing then we're going to go hit the range so we're going to crack open this trigger and see what comes with the package. So, you got your mechanicals and that's it. <clears throat> per G-Flex, there's two points on this trigger that you're going to want to pay attention to. This bracket right here and on the back side here, this spring right here. During your install, this spring might clock over to the 3 o'clock mark and you want to make sure that it stays at 12 o'clock. This bar here you may need some adjustment and as always small adjustments multiple adjustments until it's working right so we're going to show clear and then we're going to break her down set that aside because this is not going to be needed for the install now you're going to have to take your three takedown pins out this wasn't hitting her hard enough so at this point, you're going to lift this guy out. Sorry about that. Set that off to the side. Back here, you're going to knock this pin out as well. Set that off with the rest of the pins. So now, the trigger should all lift out, just like that. Now that we removed the old trigger, time to drop in the new one. The next step is to set the housing pin. Now remember this is a plastic pin so you shouldn't have to hit it too hard. Just be a couple little tappies and she's in. And you want it seated low level on each side. Next we're going to install the locking block. And then securing it with the locking block pin. The next we're going to be installing the trigger pin and the slide stop lever. There we go. Tap. There we go. Get it locked into place. There's your trigger install. And don't forget when all is said and done and you get it all installed, give her a little taste of oil right down there around that mechanism. And then you're good to go. If everything with the trigger has been installed correctly, after checking to make sure it's clear, you can do a function check. And then you get your second trigger fire. All right, now that Dustin showed you how to install the G-Flex trigger into the Glock 17, I brought you out to the range and we're going to show you how it performs. All right, before we get started, one thing that I really want to show to you is how light that reset is. I'm going to do it one more time. This is if I'm firing on pull. And now here's the release. And if you watch my finger, it barely moved. So what we want to try and do is find that sweet spot and feather it a little bit. We don't want to be slow and take our time with it. We're gonna shoot fast. All right, we're starting out with 17 round mags and we're gonna shoot for the left target. All right, well that actually, that ran uh, pretty good. I think I found a sweet spot there uh, a little bit. Uh, so let's load it up and try again. Here we go, next mag. <laughs> I 
this thing is a lot of fun. All right, now we got the 24 round mag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim for the one on the right. We're gonna try and go a little more for accuracy uh, than we are speed. So let's see how well we do. Okay, so the target on the left here, you can see that's kind of how the pattern was. Again, doing my best to try and stay around in the in the center here. Um, I hate to say it, I was trying to focus a little more on feathering the trigger um, than I was trying to hit the target. And so that was the first three mags, those 17 round mags that I put through it. And then this target over here, I did my best to try and stay focused on uh, hitting it in the center. But again, part of you is still uh, trying to focus on the trigger. Uh, this is kind of what that pattern looks like. I'm sure there's people out there that can uh, do a little bit better than me in that. All right, this is really similar to firing a binary trigger out of a rifle like an AR-15 or a Ruger 10-22. Um, it's different because you have that longer trigger pull in the front and it's such a short reset um, that you do have to kind of find that spot. It's a little, it's a little harder than on the rifle. Uh, on the rifle, you can kind of uh, let your finger squeeze and, and release and squeeze and release and uh, as about as far as you want in this you just you kind of have to stay you have to stay real tight uh, and real light with it and feather it uh, so it takes a minute to just kind of find that spot but once you do as you can tell it runs just fine we're going to try something a little different here i've got a tactic cam attached to the pistol so hopefully you can see what i'm shooting at All right, well, hopefully that captured something worth watching. <laughs> uh, why would you get a G-Flex trigger? Hmm, I don't know, because they're fun. If you wanna pick a practical reason, if you wanna have a pistol that's specifically used for suppressing fire, use this trigger. So head over to gflextriggers.com and use the promo code DBOSS, that's D-B-O-S-S, -S, and you'll receive 10% off and free shipping. Who needs to stock up on 9mm anyways? Let's go shoot it.